Hey guys, it's Emma. Um, so my lovely husband decided that he would let me go shopping yesterday and he would look after the kids for me. So I got to go out and do some shopping because I thought it was well overdue for me to start taking a bit more care of myself. And um, so I was able to buy quite a few things to make myself look a bit more beautiful and so I had lots of fun shopping and I've got a whole lot of nail polish and a few um, bits of makeup that I'm going to show you. So I got six different colours of nail polish and it's been so long since I've bought nail polish that I didn't realise all the different types of nail polish you can buy these days. So um, this is the first one that I saw and I thought it was just absolutely awesome. So it's got like this reddy colour with a silvery streak through it and I'm hoping it comes out just like that when I paint it on my nails because I think it looks wicked but it's um these are all BYS brand so um and then I got this really sparkly one which I thought would look really pretty if I did just like one nail of the sparkly with the rest of them painted in this one. Um, so I'll, I'll have to like show you guys what they look like when I actually get around to doing my nails but uh, this is another one that I bought and I think it is such an awesome green colour. It looks sort of a bit different on the camera. It looks a bit paler on the camera than it actually is but it's like like sort of a mix between minty, limey, green but this one's actually scented and it's meant to be mint flavoured but when I smelt the bottle I couldn't smell anything except for acetone or whatever um, so I'm hoping it'll like have a bit of a smell once it dries when I paint it on But and then I got this one here which is it's got these like really big chunks of glitter and sparkly stuff in it and then like a little bluey greeny liquidy stuff as well so so that's what that looks like and I thought that would look really cool with that one as well like if I had them together um, then I got this one this is a really dark purple it's like quite sparkly as well but it's more of a just a dark purpley color you can't really see it that well there we go. So you can see all the sparkles in it. And it is really pretty. And I've never like I've never really been into dark nail polish, but I think I feel like branching out and um being a bit more daring. So I'll see what that looks like on. And I didn't this one I didn't plan to get, but um it was on sale, so it was like two dollars and I thought it looks really cool, but like I put it on my toenails last night and um, yeah, yellow toenails <laughs> doesn't really look the best, but I thought I could use them as like a detailing colour, like if I was going to paint a little like flower or something on top of my nails or something like that. So that's just a shimmery yellow colour. So those are all the the different nail polishes that I got and for makeup I got a new eyeliner and it's just this one this is BYS as well but it's like a really cool this is in charcoal colour so it's not totally black it's more of a gray, dark grey colour and then it like winds up like this so I wound it up too far last night, as you always do, and then it got stuck, <laughs> so I managed to get it back down again. But like, I find this so much easier than the pencils, because with the pencils, when I'm putting eyeliner on it, always like, um, like the shards of wood when you sharpen it, they always like end up sticking into my eyes, and I can never sharpen them properly without the actual eyeliner breaking and getting a nice point on it, so this is so much better. Because I won't have to worry about sharpening it. And then on the other end, it has a little smudger. So you can like um, 
so you don't end up with just like a, a really obvious line you can like smudge it in it's like a, f a hard foamy kind of thing but you just like smudge it in so it's not so like it's not such a blunt line so that was awesome and then I got this eyeshadow palette this is by Maybelline and it's got like one two three four different colors and it tells you like where to put them so you start with this one and then you um, put that in a certain place and then you do the rest in particular places and if you guys want me to do a tutorial on this I'll be more than happy to but I just love the colors in this one because it's like sort of the main color that you use is like this sort of like khaki greeny kind of color and it's just like they're just really neutral colors and they go really well with brown eyes so and then it comes with this um this little brush that has a thicker end here and then it's got a finer end for like detailing and liners and that kind of thing so um, I'm actually wearing this at the moment, so if you can see my eyes, um, that is what it looks like on. So, yeah, if you guys want me to show you how I put it on, then um, just request a video and I'll be more than happy to do one for you. I also got this um, lip balm because I really needed like a lip balm on a stick because I, I only have the ones in pots, but I really f find it hard to get it out because I've got long nails usually and just gets all under your nails and it's quite annoying so this one is a Nivea fruity shine and it just looks like that it's like that kind of pinky color and it just gives you a little tint of color on your lips but it's mostly like just moisturizing and I'll show you what it looks like on so it's quite a pretty colour I think and it's like a bit subtle but I mean that's what I like and I don't like too much full on colour on my lips. So this is like strawberry flavour and it smells really good. It's like really fruity and berry-ish and I just put some on my nose. <laughs> it smells delicious. So that's what I got and I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching.